Welcome to another video and glad to have you here because today I'm going to show you how I like to make my friction polish for turning on the lathe. Let's begin. Now you, you may be asking yourself, Luke, why are you holding a mason jar filled with orange juice? This is an orange juice. This is a friction polish. Friction polish is a mixture of boiled linseed oil, denatured alcohol, and shellac. It's a fast drying, very easy to apply, uh, mirrored finish on your wood product or on your turning products and I use this for everything in the lathe that isn't going to be handled on a daily or weekly basis because despite it being so easy to apply and such a beautiful finish it doesn't hold up well to being handled it's not a durable finish it's really just decorative so in this episode or in this video really I'm going to show you how I, what uh, how to mix this together and I'm going to apply it to a bowl that I just turned each of these parts does a very specific uh, job in the finishing process. The shellac is the actual finish. It's the layer that coats your, um, your product, your bowl, or your uh, or whatever you're turning on the lathe, really. The denatured alcohol is a catalyst. It helps the shellac to dry faster since alcohol is a very low boiling point, which means that it'll evaporate quickly. The boiled linseed oil, on the other hand, is a lubricant. It helps to lubricate the piece as it's turning, because shellac will, it, it, it'll become, st it's sticky, really. So the boiled linseed oil will help to lubricate it and prevent the, f the finish from gumming up. The ratio that I use, or like to use, a lot of people use different ratios, is one part denatured alcohol over here, two parts boiled linseed oil, and three parts shellac. I like to measure in these little Dixie cups because they are cheap and I can just throw them away as soon as I'm done. So I have a canister right here that I bought for, I don't know, a dollar maybe. Price of these I believe is $8 for these two canisters and maybe $15 for this, so $30 altogether. But in all honesty, you're gonna, this will last you a year. You know, this will last you years even. I cut the lip off of the Dixie cup because now it can fit into the canister and it'll save me a lot of uh, heartache. So I'm just going to do three shellac, about mm, halfway full, or three fifths full maybe. Right into here. That's one, two, three. Okay, shellac is done. Now let's move on to or denatured alcohol, which will be one part of. Again, just about, you know, three-fifths full. And finally, boiled linseed oil. We need two parts. One part. Two parts. And to prevent buildup of liquid in the rim, I just take a sharp ed or a sharp point. I'm using my compass. I just like to poke a hole in. Poke four holes in to the inner lip. This will also allow it so it will drain back out and that so that it won't build up in the rim. Put our cap on and give it a quick mix. And here you go. It's kind of orange juicy. Now let's just go over to the lathe and apply it, and I'll show you the very basic steps that it takes to put those on. Process really is just as simple as it is, as it seems. Grab your rag. It's just an old shirt for me. A shirt that I happened to burn through on another episode. <laughs> Place a liberal amount on the inside just to get a, a good coat. Let it soak in too. Okay, at this point, we could turn it on and start the actual friction polishing. There's our first coat and you can see it's already very shiny. You do want it to build up though, so let's grab some more friction polish and apply some more. Okay, 
you can really go to as many coats as you will feel necessary. I like um, I like to a point where I can see a pretty good reflection, you know, um, and so that it's evenly distributed. That there's no there is no you know major uh, ridges I can feel from the shellac. Now let's uh, flip this over and do the outside. Same procedure. Procedure for the outside of the bowl is the exact same. Get yourself a liberal coat of friction polish. Let's soak into because you want it to penetrate the you know underneath the wood and uh, you start building up layers. Also, by the way, the this bowl was sanded to uh, from 60 to 120 to 220 to steel wool. Then some water on it to raise the grain, and steel wool again to make make a nice polish. A thorough sanding to a super fine grit like triple zero steel wool will help make this process go a lot smoother. Give it a minute just to dry. We'll put our second coat on. There you go. Very reflective, very beautiful too. A couple cracks here and there, but you know, this is the bowl I just took out of my uh, drying pile, so so I'm, I'm not super uh, super concerned that there's a crack in it. And you know, already dried to the touch too. Looks really nice too. Okay, I'll take it out and cut the tenon off and uh, show you the bowl and we'll wrap this up. So what did we learn today? We learned all about friction polish and how it's my favorite and I'm sure lots of Turner's favorite uh, turning finish only because it's easy to apply great finish and uh, I don't know, it's just it's relatively cheap you know since denatured alcohol and boiled linseed are all pretty pretty low cost um, items for the shop and if anybody's wondering the black lip around the edge of this was was uh, made by um, by getting a piece of steel wool and holding against to the point where it started burning. And I, I, I like that in my bowls. I like a little uh, black lip. Um, it's funny because there's black lip shell that I cut up. I've got a bunch over there. Also, if you'd like to, if you like this bowl, it will be for sale on my Etsy. Um, I'll have it listed on there for as, until it's sold. All of my links down below, and also I signed it on the back. With Mixter, April 19th, 2017. Uh, and uh, yeah, whoever wants it, uh, go check it out, and you can have some paraphernalia uh, made by me and seen on the internet. So, maybe I'll put that as a little um, little title down here, as seen on the internet, like as seen on TV, like in Ah, never mind. So, if you like this episode, go and give it a thumbs up. Yeah, just go and give uh, our friction polish a thumbs up because because I really like this stuff. It's great. Uh, so yeah, go and give this like and comment below what you what you think about it, and be sure to share and subscribe for more videos, for more daily videos. Until tomorrow, this is Luke signing out.